Nightmare in Orlando. Terror erupts as shots ring out at a gay nightclub. But I don't know where my son is. No one can tell me where my son is. Tell me when you're ready. Go. 50 people are dead and more than 50 others injured. He wasn't stopping. He just kept on shooting and shooting and shooting. And I want to wake up. Authorities are calling this an act of terror. It's sickening. It should make every American angry. And tonight, the nation grieves over the worst mass shooting in American history. And right now, investigators continue to piece together exactly what happened in an Orlando nightclub early this morning. The numbers are just staggering. Tonight, we know more than 100 people are dead or injured in the worst mass shooting in American history. And here's what we know right now. At 2.02 Eastern Time this morning, shots were fired at Pulse. It's a gay nightclub in Orlando. We're told there were more than 300 people inside the club at the time. Around 3 a.m., the club posted a message on Facebook saying, everyone get out of Pulse and keep running and around 5 a.m. SWAT team members they drove an armored vehicle through the door of the club officers shot and killed the suspect approximately 30 hostages survived the ordeal we have complete coverage of the shooting and also local reaction to the tragedy we begin with King 5's Ted Land in Orlando right now Ted I'm live outside the Orlando Regional Medical Center where many of the victims are still being treated. A family just walked out over here and was telling us about their son who was injured and they came out and they were the lucky ones who were able to talk about how their son is recovering, he's conscious, he's able to talk to them. But just down the street at a hotel, it has been a much more anguished scene. A lot of family members have been gathering there throughout the afternoon waiting for any kind of updates about their friends and their, their loved ones, their family, to find out just what happened. What they've been doing is posting lists that would indicate uh, people who are injured, people who were killed, and a lot of people just can't find a name they recognize on that list. And they have family members who are missing and they're just waiting for some type of word. About an hour ago, they brought in some city buses and people loaded into those buses and they brought them over to a nearby senior center where I'm told that they will have to wait perhaps overnight for the next update to get any kind of word on the condition of uh, family members or to find out more names of people who died in the shooting. So it's an anguished wait. People were just sitting outside of the hotel hugging one another, uh, being with one another, praying. At one point, they linked hands together in a circle and prayed right outside of that hotel. It will be uh, just a surreal uh, night for many of these families as they wait to find out what happened. Not far from here is the scene of the shooting where a crush of investigators from all across the state and federal authorities are all still set up investigating the scene and uh, piecing through what happened there while a lot of people from the community are showing up with signs of peace and love just to be around one another. They can't just sit at home, watch this on TV. They have to do something. And all across this community, people are coming together tonight during an anguished wait. Live in Orlando, Ted Land, King 5 News.